Welcome to Bill's Aunt Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. You're one of the few people that have ever been down here and seen the, the fishing that we saw last season with the bonefish, permit, tarpon, redfish, snook. You've seen it about as good as it gets for all those. Then you come back and you say, hey, can we go catch some more of the big barracudas? <laughs> that sums it up right there. I love to catch it. All right, well, let's get going. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. Welcome back to the scenic Duck Key area in the Florida Keys for part two of our show of last week titled The Perfect Predator. As often happens, when our host Bill Dance and his guests are having a great trip, we sometimes have to split our showtime into two parts. The networks just don't seem to understand that the fishing is so good at times that even a big bulldozer couldn't pry Bill Dance or his guests away from the action. When that happens, we simply have to split the trip so our viewers are always able to see the rest of the story, as famous media commentator Paul Harvey used to say. Now, just in case you missed last week's fun episode, Bill's guests were his good friends Bob Bagby, Vice President of Marketing for Zebco Quantum, and Rich Tudor, co-host of the popular TV show Saltwater Experience. Rich also operates a well-known charter service here in the Florida Keys, Saltwater Experience Outfitters. They were having a grand time trolling live mullets to tempt the hard-hitting barracudas this area is famous for. For sport fishing, Florida Keys barracuda fishing rates at the top of a scale of 1 to 10. They're legend for their fierce attacks and willingness to take most anything live or artificial that's presented to them. Consequently, kudas are a relatively easy target for anyone fishing here, regardless of their angling skill level. That doesn't mean that they're always easy to land, however. Barracuda are super fast. They can reach speeds upwards of 40 miles an hour in as little space as double their body length. They hit like a freight train, run really hard, and leap and jump like you've never seen before. Bill Dance calls barracudas the perfect predators, simply because they possess every attribute known to perfect predators, but all wrapped up into one impressive package. Let's watch. They must be pretty prolific. I mean, lots of them. There are. How far north do they migrate? Do they catch them? I've heard of guys catching them in the Carolinas, on the wrecks out there, um, certainly all over the Caribbean. Oh, look at him jumping. Real, 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 real. real. Real, 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 real. Wow, Whoa, wow, how about that? <laughs> he was coming at you the whole time. I know. That was awesome. I thought he cut me off at first. Good job, Bob. Now he's mad. Away from the rock there. Come on, buddy. They're up there pushing. Get out of the rocks. Now we got it coming. Right up against the road there. Waiting for bait to come by. You see how that current sweeping across there? Yeah. It's an A1A. Cuda. Nice. Not a huge one, but feisty. Very nice. Well done, Bob. Way to go, buddy. That was a cool bite, huh? He just shot out of the water. He jumped and he came right I at know. you. I thought at first he just chopped the bait off, and then I went, oh, there he goes with my bait. Yeah. And you say that's not fun. That was awesome. Yeah. You say that's not fun. Nice. And then when they bite it, there's really no doubt. Look, look at that. that. Came right out. You're wow. just holding on to it. Nice one. I love their eyes, too. Just such a predatorial. Just mean looking. Yeah. Ah, there you said. Hello. Hello. I mean, like, you know, a face of a wolf or a predator. I mean, that's 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 a predator yeah, right there. Do some gnawing right there. Nice. See ya. Good job, Bob. All right. right. Today's show is sponsored in part by 
Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Quantum Rods and Reels, outsmart, outfish, outlast, and Mercury Marine, go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube for great information that can improve your fishing. As you can see, we've moved to another location, a location that I'm very fond of. <laughs> yeah, this is where you caught that giant barracuda with me last time. Right, right along Highway 1. Yep. It's a good spot. It's kind of like a big backboard. The, the current pushes up here and pushes around these corners, and, and these predator fish sit on the, on the corners waiting for stuff to come by. In fact, we caught several pretty good fish right here that day. We did. It was super windy, and, and uh, I remember this was one of the few spots that was out of the wind that day, and the fish were here. That is way, way bigger than anything we've seen today. Be ready. You might have to go up around the bow or something. Look at the size of that guy. <laughs> wow, that's a big one. Watch him under this boat. <laughs> Look at the size of that barracuda. Oh my goodness. He is a big one, isn't he? Oh my goodness. Wow. Tip eye. Wow, look at him jumping. Oh, jump. Look at him jumping. Woo. Like a marlin, huh? <laughs> that was a fantastic jump. <laughs> wow. Wow. -wee. Look at the size of that guy. My goodness. Huh? My goodness, you did good, Bill. <laughs> you did real good. Wow. <laughs> that is a giant barracuda. That's one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Really? That is huge. That's got to be over 40 pounds. Oh, man, that is huge. Whoa. All right, there he goes. Woo! <laughs> nice job, Bill. Wow. You did good. You did good. That is a giant barracuda. Wow. Woo. Uh oh. There he is. There he is. A big swirl there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is that good. that giant mullet? That's that a pretty good mullet. fish right here. Huh? That's pretty good fish right Jamming here. Jamming in a little bit. He's got to be big if he swallowed that thing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mm. Look at oh, double oh. hunter. There we go. Get the hook in him. Woo, yeah, look at the size of that Woo. one. Oh my goodness, Bill. <laughs> Did you see that? That thing is enormous. This one won't even jump. Wow. Oh, I'll tell you wow. one thing. Wow. You have got an oh. enormous one on. Look at him spooling that line. Woo. Wow. Now he's going. Woo. <laughs> Two big ones. Wow, look at him going. Giant. Two giants. That's awesome. Wow, that's a big that's one. That's no small one. That's a big fish, man. No, that's a good one. Woo. That is not small. Nice job. The bills is bigger than that. I'm telling you, I think we it is. We got some slobs in here. I think it is. Looking right in the roof of the Wee, baby, that's a good one. How about that, Bob? <laughs> it's a slob. I think bills is bigger look, than look that. Look at that, look at that hook how it's just right in there. It's just right in this little <laughs> chunk. Oh, watch it, watch it. <laughs> y'all are going to get somebody killed. <laughs> oh. That's a train wreck fixing to happen right here. Wow. <laughs> Nice job, Mr. Now that is a slob. That is a good fish there. Woo. How about that? Nice. <laughs> what a ferocious bite. Awesome <laughs> jump. That's good. Let's go let him eat another mullet. Hey, buddy. Woo. There he is. Oh, wow. Nicely done, Bill. Look at the size of that big boy. Good That golly. is full grown there. Man, I thought mine was big. I think that was big. How about that? How much do you think that one? A lot. He's really heavy. That is a monster. What a difference, huh? Be careful now. He's ready to go bite something. Look at those teeth. Woo! Nicely done. Wow. That is a giant. Turn him loose. All right. Good job. Woo! Today's show was sponsored in part by 
Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. Gamakatsu, world's finest hooks. And Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Today's show is sponsored in part by Strin, the standard of dependability since 1958. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. And Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. That's the type of edge you're talking about, isn't it? Yeah, real defined edge. Yeah. And a lot of times those scooters will sit on those edges waiting for something to drift by. You can see the current flowing over there. Yeah. Look, I'm looking at it right here on the graph. So they would prefer to use the uh, up, up current side normally? Most of the time. Now what would change that? Would uh, a cold front, they'd move out deeper? Probably the strength of the tide, if it got to be so strong on the full moon or new moon that, that, that it was too much work to stay uh, positioned. You know, these fish are all trying to sit where they can expend little or no energy and then have stuff come to them. Yeah. Um, if they have to start fighting that current to stay where they're at, they might move to the down tide side. So all we're doing, we're just idling along around these key features. Yep. You just move up and down. Yep. There you go. Whoa, that was that bike. Real, <laughs> real, real. Shot. Woo! What a jump. Jumped at you twice. Huh? Wow. Boy, one more. Did you see that? He almost jumped in the boat. Oh, Brother. <laughs> wow, little bit. That was wow. Did you see that dog? That was an impressive way. Did you see that? Wow, that thing was there, and he was there before you could say, stop it. <laughs> real fast, real fast, real fast, real fast, real fast. He's coming at you. I think he got that. That's a big one. He's going to jump right over here. You watch. He's going to jump right out there. That's a big fish. He's going to get, he's gonna get that crab pot, I believe. Bill, loosen your drag and, uh, and hold your rod tip high so we get around that pot. Good. I got it over. I got it over. All right, we're clear. We're good. We're good. He's going to jump. Come on. This deal is a complete package. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a complete package. You, you not only see the strike, you feel it. You ex I mean, you experience the whole deal. I mean, this fish, his will to live, is, is, is untouched. I mean, there's nothing like it. I can tell you like them. i tell you one thing. It is without question. It would rank. I've, I've caught fish all my life, and I've been blessed to have caught a lot of different kind of fish that fight real hard, tarpon, bonefish, you know, big red bulls that pull and tug hard. You know, light tackle stuff that just tug and pull and run hard. But I'm going to tell you something. In freshwater, you know, I've caught smallmouth on light tackle, big hard pulling catfish in the Mississippi River. But I'll tell you right now, these things right here, they are the they are just too cool for school. They are. I mean, you experience it all right here. I mean, you you see the strike, you feel it, you set the hook, the fight is on. What do we fish for? We fish for the fun of catching fish and a good fight. And Putna, these things right here give it to you. I mean, they give it to you. They do. They give it to you from the time they feel that hook to the time you get them up to the boat. Nice. Woo! Another big one. Wow. How about that? How about that? Yeah. Woo! You are catching a lot of big barracudas. Isn't it amazing to have this, this quality fish? There's so many of them around. I'm telling you, brother. That is nice. Woo! I like this. Well done. Well done. Look at that. Woo-wee! 
All right, you gonna let him go? Look at that. All right. Bye bye, buddy. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. Hey, it's David Dunn at Garmin. Where did he see the latest developments in electronics going? It seems everything's getting bigger, faster, and smarter in the marine electronics. The screen sizes are getting bigger. The processes are getting faster so they can do more. The redraw speeds are so much faster. And they're getting smarter so they can interact with your smart devices, your phones, and your tablets. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And Finnor, legendary tackle since 1933. Closed captioning is provided by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin's Echo Map series of chart plotter sonar combos. These awesome push-button units provide the clearest scanning sonar images on the water. Can't begin to tell you how many times this past year I've been fishing a great shallow water area and catching good fish only to have the wind come up and blow me away. So doggone aggravating. Well, along came along what I call my ready-made anchor, power pole. Since then, I promise no more rushing to fish a favorite shallow water spot or area because of dreaded winds. If you're looking for the latest fishing information and tips, be sure to check out the free Bill Dance mobile app, available for both iOS and Android users. Now, I don't know what kind of bird that is. See those white ones up there, black and white? Where? On, that, on the mid thing, not the comarant. You see the white chest on them? I think it may be a white chested, a booby or something maybe. My bait. He's gonna get it. His bait is getting compromised. Yeah. Oh, there he oh. is. Come on, reel him. Reel, you got him. You got him. Kuda, kuda, da 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 we're going to the Kuda Day, Kuda, Kuda. We're going to the Kuda Day, Kuda, Kuda Day. It's a little difficult to land the fish. Kuda, 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 Kuda. Hey, uh, you wonder why he was catching one. I know. Oh, Woo! he's jumping nice. Woo! That was not very big. No. Acrobatic, though. That's probably why we were missing those bites. Wow, look at that. Looks like a, looks like a vice. Oh, Dr. Bagby now will do surgery on the minnow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there we go. go. There we go. Good job. That wasn't hard He's giving to do. you grief. I know. That's a nice fish. Now look at the damage he did to that, even that small Ooh, fish. Don't tell a fish. Perfect example on that one, how we had that stinger in there. Yep. And that's what he did. He cut off the, the propeller. That's all he could buy. That's yeah, all he, he ate. This is hey. the first time he took a white mm -hmm. slash at it. Hey, that's all he could get in his little bitty mouth. <laughs> you know what? Oh, shut up. It may be time for you to be <laughs> food of bait. <laughs> is that a good one, Bill? Yeah, he's, he's running to me a little bit. He's harder. There he goes. Got two big jumps out of him. Did you see him? Yeah, it looked like a nice one. Boy, that water's pretty. Jump a little bit then. There you go. Cuda, cuda, cuda. Man, look at that. That's another solid fish. And look how pretty he looks in this water. You know, water. we have caught some pretty fish. Yeah, and this is awesome out here in this really pretty water. You can see how clear it is. You can see the fish way down there. You can see him bite. Yeah, this is awesome. He comes up. All right, you ready? Ready, buddy. 
Is he ready? I think so. And that's something we've just been catching one fish after the other. This size or even uh or bigger. That's a quality, yeah. quality fish there. Woo! Very nice. Oh, that's another good one. Another nice one. <laughs> well Man. done, well done. Off camera, our second cameraman is giving our fisherman that dreaded signal that it's a wrap, meaning simply that we're out of showtime again for this week. So before we go, we need to tell you that Barracuda don't score well at all as table fare. In fact, eating these feisty fish is not advisable. They have oily flesh, and if they've eaten enough prey that's consumed too much algae, their meat is also potentially poisonous to humans. But, as you've seen, they make up for this shortcoming as quite a battling, downright feisty, really fun fish to catch. And their bite is almost always dependable, especially here in the Florida Keys. Thanks much for fishing along with us today. Thanks also to our special guests for their expertise, and we hope you'll join us again at our next great location. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Please join us right here again next week.